And we're getting ready. Lower bracket round two, match number one. The surprise of yesterday, the foggy killer. Johnny Cage stepping into the ring once again. His opponent from Sweden is Thorzein, who was thrown down to the lower bracket by Happy with a 2 and 0 defeat. Here is the bracket once again for all you guys who missed it yesterday. Thorzein, as you can see, 0 2. But making his comeback against Please, but once again struggling there, dropping a map against uh, the Russian underdog. Johnny Cage here with the biggest upset of yesterday 2 and 1 uh, with Human against Night Elves. Uh, Foggy's Night Elves. Then, little interesting move there. Uh, he switched to Night Elf in his match against Cash. Cash, Cash switching to Human, and still Cash was able to beat him off race two and O. Oh. So this is how they find themselves here in the lower bracket round two. The rules are simple: the loser is out. The winner will face the winner of Foggy versus Hawk. Map selection: we've seen it before. Thorzein Benning, CH, and Echo. Johnny Cage getting rid of Twisted at Last Refuge. We start on Amazonia. And we have Terranus Stand, LV, and Northern Isles left. Here are your players. Sweden versus Russia. These guys have never faced each other before. And we don't know how good their human mirror really is. As we haven't seen that too much. But Thorzein um, might have had the chance to practice with Effect. Or returning the favor to Cruncher. With whom he was practicing, I guess before WGL Americas. In other matchups, especially against Undead, but also against Nidal, there is quite a bit of room for innovation, for experimentation. But in the Human Mirror, on the highest level, it oftentimes feels like you're kind of forced into going AM first, first of all, of course, which is what we're going to be seeing here. And then Breakers on Tier 2. Um, they are kind of what you need on Tier 2 to hold on. On big maps, perhaps, you can evade your opponent where maybe you can back it up with an expansion. Maybe you can hold on with Mercs or whatever, go to tier three, something like that. But Amazonia mercenary support is gonna be very hard to come by. So is an expansion as well. So if we're supposed to expect some innovation, I doubt it's gonna be here. But then again, we haven't seen these guys before. Maybe they have a special plan. Not as special as the American boys were with their Beastmaster and MK first. <laughs> but uh, Terranus stand is, is it still in the pool? Attack. Where we yes, might tell you something it else. is. It is, it is. Thank you for the very first donation of this European qualifier, Danor, with a 5 euro 14. B2W, he says. Thank you very much. And we have an Archmage level 1.5 already. Class of attack for him. Pretty quick creep here. Same goes for Thorzane, who's approaching level 2 with a circlet of nobility. Um, that is Johnny Cage, by the way. Johnny Cage in the red, Thorzane in the blue. Gotta get. Red is Russia, blue is Sweden. So. Brain, please uh, remember that. No tech just yet. Johnny Cage playing it a little safer than Thorzane with the tower already here. Thorzane skipping on that. Um, that means there is a potential for Johnny Cage to drop some water mantles. He was scouting that out and saw, of course, the movement forced Thorzane back a little. So at the next creep spot is Johnny Cage. He's creeping the Murloc with only four militia. Is that enough? Uh, okay, I guess it is. I always thought this took four plus a water elemental, or maybe five, but I guess four is enough. Um, early military uses, though. He's falling quite far behind in tech, and now if he doesn't get the Taskmaster, this would be a disaster. He's delaying his tech for the fast level three. He needs to get it as well. Oh, Thorzane, there, with one of his deadly surrounds, almost finds the encirclement. But Johnny Cage squeezes through, and Thorzane's tech advantage is starting to become quite measurable. You see, it's still no tech, and one quarter done already. Who's gonna get the Taskmaster? At the moment, Thorzane with two water elementals here, trying to claim it. Still some duration on it. Johnny Cage needs a big last hit. Doesn't get it, though. Went to Thorzane with the next circlet. What an inventory for this Archmage. Yuck. Plus 11 already, making trading a lot easier. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing for the early game footy wars. And this is not a good start for Johnny Cage at all. Now comes the tech. Comparison. Have a tech ahead. In the human mirror. That is not supposed to be this way at all, man. And there's no shop. He can't heal his hurt footman. He did a decent job microing them back so they don't die to Thorzane. Uh, not giving him the level three, but... How's he supposed to fight now? Thorzane, I guess, was skipping on quite a few footies. 
player's forces are under attack. At least Johnny Cage is keeping him alive. So where is he going to set up the shop? He needs one badly. One peasant moving out. Shop in front of the base. Okay. Easy to reinforce there or to pick up items. But might be falling later on. That's always going to be the Achilles heel for the humans. Remember, no shop means no breakers. Which is most likely what we'll be moving into here. Thorzane with a good lead after this early game. Continues creeping in the middle. And we'll be getting his level 3 plus another nice item. Same goes for... Johnny Cage, who's going, or who's, who's getting level 3 here um, at the troll three, shop. Ooh, gloss of haste. Trifecta and mantle. That is pretty sick indeed. Thoughts in with his own shop. Clarity, regen scroll, and oh, all the footies healing nicely. Now, what's the second hero? Looks like Thorzain is not going for the MK, which is the standard meta choice. Seems to want to go for an Alchemist instead, especially with his early tavern hero coming. What? Whoa! Fire uh, Lord! Fire Lord! That's... Uh, there's no militia, no lumber mill. So, this is not a tower push. He scouts it now. Good scouting by Johnny Cage, by the way, seeing this. Was this a misclick? Or is he really so sure that he can break this already? with a big tech advantage he has. He passed over the items to the Fire Lord immediately, so it didn't look like he was like, oh my god, crap, I got the wrong hero. It seemed like this was with a plan. Oh my god, if he gets this altar, this means no second hero. Are you serious? Uh -oh. This never happened to the human mirror. Oh, he's not committing to it yet. Second water elemental summoned out of range of the arcane tower. Now focusing on the footman here. This is a lot of summons here for Thor's and Militia is coming for Johnny Cage's defense though. Costing quite a few Militia lives here. We are here and dying. So are uh, the Pez uh, the footies. Finally the Arkham is coming in. With the acid bomb now it's going to be easier to deal with. So many summons all over the place. No Shadow Priests here of course. <clears throat> on Amazonia the Merc camp too far away. And Thorzane has slain most the peasants here, or the militia rather. Watch Elemental still three up for Johnny Cage, now down to two. But Johnny Cage, with the help of Defend, seems to be holding this. Johnny did a good job and is extinguishing uh, the lava spawns immediately. So they didn't get enough hits to multiply. That was key with uh, the Watch Elemental advantage that he had. Thorzain now completely out of mana, didn't get the altar in the end, is now facing an Alchemist, who is scaling a lot better into the late game, but that push got him the time to go fast tier 3. Knights cast the Mortars. Yeah, really interesting. And I thought we wouldn't be seeing anything specially on AZ since it's such a small map, but yes we are, yes we absolutely are. The Thorzane special. Fire Lord pressure to buy space and buy time for the tier 3. Pretty cool, but yeah, I have to agree with you. How well does this Fire Lord really scale? That's always the big problem with that hero. I'm a big fan, of course. Uh, it's going to be a lot of low HP units, so I can see Incinerate working quite nicely on this hero. Soulburn would, of course, be decent as well. Wind of Illusion, everything's hurt again. Level 2. And Thorzane is going for Soulburn. On the Alchemist, we have level 2 as well with Chemical Rage, so no heal spray. Thank you very much, Nice Nero for the 18 months, Nicked for the 10 months, Blue Band for gifting a sub to Hiromi Fan for the 5 months, and Shrip for the 3 months, and Shiver Gaming for the host. Much appreciate, thank you guys all so much. Shredder now for Johnny Cage, finally he's gonna have Lumber, but that's a lot more gold that doesn't go into army. Look at the force for Johnny Cage right now. He's got a couple of footies and peasants, and now he's trying to expand, but guess what, Thorzane is right here. This is not gonna happen. And so many priests. More summons, water elemental, uh, uh, lava spawns are at 50% duration. They split after the creep, so maybe they can split again. Kind of unlikely at this point. Tier 3 is done though, and of course Thorzain investing into this tech. Doesn't want to fight without the advantages that the tech gives him. Paladin, third hero, fragmentation shards, and knights, most likely in a fire as well. This is the natural counter to the upcoming breaker priest army that Johnny Cage is building right now. Absolutely. If there's a high level MK, perhaps the Stormbolt, you can snipe those knights out still with water elemental damage and so on. But there is no MK. This is only an alchemist and not even level 3 alchemist. 
Level 4 AM is almost acquired here for Johnny Cage, but getting more experience doesn't seem to be too easy at the moment. This camp being contested over now as a paladin joins the field and with the staff and with the holy light, he's going to have so many opportunities to save these units. There's the staff and the holy light that we spoke of, saving that footy. No mana anymore on these heroes, so this lava spawn dies again. This is the last water elemental for a bit. But yeah, uh, priests are coming in, knights are shredding through the front line. The front line is basically priests at this point. Seeing a soul burn on a priest is also interesting, something we rarely see. But yeah, the final attack speed when you can just stand still is pretty sick, look at this. Yeah. Okay, it's not insane, but it's pretty good, you know. And dude, Thorzain is just destroying everything. GG, Damn. well played. Fire I apologize. I will not question a Fire Lord choice by Thorzain ever again. Yeah, that looked really solid. But what did look questionable was that militia usage for Johnny Cage falling so far behind in tech. I guess Thorzain is having the better opening. Neglecting his level 3, being aggressive instead across the map, putting pressure on, fast teching behind. And Johnny Cage was banking on his early level 3, but that never happened. Fell far behind early on. And never even got to the breaker point. That's true. Uh, I was too slow for that. And yeah, the tech there was uh, the key. I like the early push by Thorzane. Bought so much time. He had this idea of teching fast and going fast tier 3 to have this late game army. And it worked out super nicely. So, Johnny Cage... Wait, CH was banned, wasn't it? Referee Neo on the case. I didn't see the bands, actually. I'm pretty sure Thorzain banned CH first. Maybe after the race announcement, they started over with the bands? Ah. Oh. Was they not in here yet? Um, I mean, if he vetoed this, he's going to have to say something about it. Yeah. One zero lead here for him. Um, starting off better than yesterday already, where it was going up against Happy, arguably the hardest opponent in the first round. And Happy and Cash, they're making it through into the winner's final. Yeah. Proving to be the toughest opponent yesterday, especially Cash's human. Surprised me a lot that this was looking so solid. But Cash is renowned for being a strong random player. On ladder, of course. I guess all the pros are. But even here in this tournament, showing up with off races. Okay. Uh, nobody really remembers, actually. Like, Thorzain doesn't remember if he vetoes this, uh, vetoed this. But he says, it's fine. Um, okay, then. If it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. This means no ban on CH anymore, but a pick, and then this leaves us with uh, Northern Isles left, if Johnny Cage would decide uh, this match for himself. In the mirrors, of course, the map's not... the map veto is not as crucial as in many other matchups. Especially if we see the same strategies, but will we see the same strategies? Um, Thorzain here coming out with a bit of a curveball in the first map already. Fast tech into Fire Lord. He was a little lucky with the items. We have to say that. But that is not what gave him the win. It was a solid play. And Johnny Cage messing up a little bit there with his macro, with his build, in my opinion. So what are we starting off with here? Normal altar build. No rush, no power build. Nothing out of the ordinary. In Human Mirror at the moment, isn't the normal first camp even the lab nowadays? With the rock golem pull and stuff? The first one? I think we've seen that before somewhere. I don't think it's normal. I think still the normal one would be uh, orange green crap or something. But I it is first. becoming more and more common. Yes, I think we can agree on that. Yeah. I could see Thorzin going for it. I feel like he goes for a lot of rather... Uh, bold rock golem pulls 
also on Twisted Meadows, for example, where for once, when he was playing in uh, the open qualifier, the human did not veto Twisted. That was very surprising. Is vetoed here, though. But I mean, perhaps they're gonna forget about it. Like uh, the showrunners for Game of Thrones. <laughs> Still mad about it one week after it happened. Okay. Uh, I'm not even that mad. I just think the memes are kind of fun. Do you ah, know? Yeah, that's true. The free folk separated? Really good. Yeah, yeah, it's the best. <laughs> so, Archmage, Archmage, no surprise here early on. So, let's see who's right. Is he going for the lap or not? Nope. Normal spot. Normal spot. Yeah. Scout footage is being sent out aggressively right away. Um, if you want to go for the lab, you really have to pull the rock column, and for that, the first footy will be required. Players here judging that it's going to be more valuable to have that footy for scouting and for a bit of harass. Once again, Johnny Cage going for the scout tower here really early. That might be delaying his tech once more, as Thorzane is skipping that static defense. Yeah, shouldn't. Delay it by too much, though. Very cheap building. in Like, if he's not upgrading it, at least. Which yeah. he shouldn't do that early. Also takes a bit of time for the peasant where he can't harvest lumber, of course. But yeah, not that much lumber in the end. To Archmage's meet here in the south. Who's got the better items for trading? Well, that would be Thorzane. Slightly better only, though. No claws here, which is the big uh, early game winner. Tech for Thorzane coming in. And Johnny Cage actually can follow up right after, so much better already, him yes. falling not so far behind the tech. This should be a normal breaker war then, at least if there's no crazy surrounds happening. Which is, on, a g on good days, one of the strong suits of Thorzane, we've seen this in the qualifier against Juan. Tower comes now, Footman again harassing a little, but forces only a little bit of militia time. Contesting the crap now though! One last hit here, I think it is, for both these guys, for the level up. Well, one footy. The little huntsman would not be enough. Johnny Cage going for the boots here, as it seems. Oh, and with that, he has much better chase potential. Can look to lay in more right clicks into the AM for Thorzane, who is already low HP over here. Thorzane. Only at around 300. Yeah. Thorzane got the huntsman, though, so one more kill is his level 2. Footmen are chasing, and that's a good uh, way to get rid of these footmen with boots. Johnny Cage now with the footy kill, and that is his level 2 as well. Yeah, the Militia creeping up simultaneously at the uh, Turtles is what gave that level 2 there to Thorzane. There's one more item down there, which is the Mantle. That's very nice. But Thorzane will be losing this Crab Camp. Doesn't have enough footies anymore to contest. He's saving it though. Both Archmages pretty low. But he can run this down. How far is the tech? Can he go for an Alchemist fast, maybe? Nope. Still 30% to go. Here's a nice round by Johnny Cage, but the water mental will expire before. Oh! I think it expired. Yes, it yeah. did. Didn't get the experience. AM over here at the fountain. Is Thorzen gonna wake up the creeps? I think that would be worth it, right? Uh, thinking about it. Pretty aggressive early game here, not much creeping at all. We're going to have no level 3 hit by the time tier 2 rolls around, which is going to be very soon indeed. Oh, Thorzane is supply blocked. He's not going to be able to go for a second hero. Ooh, he could lose the footman, and now he's fine. Calculated. Tactical loss. <laughs> so of course. <laughs> so what's it going to be? Again, a distraction second hero to open the timing for the tier 3 or standard. Is he really going Fire Lord again? He's blocking himself in supply. Panda. Panda. Yeah, certainly doesn't have the same amount of strength that he had in the previous game to assert so much pressure on the main. Panda. Okie dokie. Really good early on against the footies. Falls off heavily once it comes to breakers, though. Yeah, I love this boot so much, Neo. Look how he's chasing. Yeah, Look he's putting, how he's chasing him. Putting good pressure. This was an expensive purchase, of course. Before tier 2, 250 gold, you really don't have that. It's basically two footmen. But it worked out, and it continues to work out. There's no healing for Thorzane. Splits uh, his footman away from the Archmage, though. So he can creep his panda a little. 
The build is gonna be Breath of Fire and Drunken Brawler, as Drunken Haze doesn't do too much. Double Sanctum, Priest coming. Only single Sanctum for Thorzane. Second only now. Okay, so Johnny Cage, a way better opening than on it Amazon. It looked like perhaps Thorzane was considering for a moment to stay one Sanctum and go tier three and then change his mind and add the second Sanctum because that second Sanctum could have been earlier. Yeah. Or maybe it was just a little bit slow with the macro. Unclear. Where it's MK for Johnny Cage. This is looking like a good early game here for the Russian player. This, what transpired in the early stages, was better already for him. And he's got the better scaling hero for what might be Breaker Wars, which is looking what we're going to be going for. Yeah, if Johnny Cage stays on tier 2 with, uh, with Breakers, this is by far the better hero then. He gets the middle one. And War Song Battle oh. Drums. 10% damage to everything. It's not big as uh, Footman Breakers and Priests don't do too much damage. Ward Elementals benefit a lot the higher the level is. Militia coming in after the Ogre Lord dies. Is he actually gonna expand on the hill? Oh, that would be crazy. Maybe he takes a little advice from Law Lion who did that uh, twice in H&W. Check out the main for Johnny Cage. He's got double lumber mill. What? That is not intentional, right? Did he think he built a blacksmith for upgrades or something? I think, I think so, yeah. I think so. And he's actually expanding. Whoa, okay. On 40 supply in a human mirror. But guess what? So is Thorzane. What okay. the hell? Non-aggression pact over here, I guess. For a while. This should benefit... Uh, I don't know. But with an expansion, it's well, more likely to see a tier 3. Or less. I'd say more likely. Which isn't too bad for the panda, in my opinion. It's gonna be knights added on, and then he has value again. It's not like Breath of Fire is the best thing ever against knights, but it's better than against breakers. Interesting. Dude, if this double lumber is actually intentional, but it can't be. There's no way this can be intentional. Like, this lumber is doing nothing. Yeah. I don't know either. Maybe you want uh, fast lumber and masonry upgrade at the same time. I don't know what this is. Thorsen is struggling hard here with trying to deal with the drake and turns out he can't deal with him. Johnny Cage moving south and now with the storm ball. It's so much easier for him to find the pickoffs. Five seconds stun on footies or priests would pretty much be a kill every time. And Thorsen is looking to be in a bit of trouble over here. Need to bring in militia now. They come. Alright, this spell against the water mentals is ready on both sides. At the moment, the panda is doing great with the breaths, but this is uh, one of his last breaths, uh, like basically the last breath. Yeah, the second okay. heroes here are both running out of mana. Mountain King and Panda both. Not really anything left. Breaker starting to stream in. But of course, the big advantage for Thorzane is that he can continuously bring Militia. They're running back to the main and might just be turned into Militia form right away again. Another water elemental for Johnny Cage. This might give him the edge. He has a little supply deficit, but more income. Ooh, that Breath of Fire was nice, getting two kills with it. But his footman frontline is suffering. Yeah. Both players here trading blows. And Thorzane didn't even call the Militia here. Confident. That he can hold off this attack even without that form of defense. Panda almost level 3 now is gonna hit it right here. And has the next Breath of Fire ready in just a moment. MK also gonna be level 3 in a second. And that is arguably quite a bit stronger. Especially in these uh, little skirmishes here. Ooh. Oh, nice surround. Almost. Close, oh, yeah, yeah. but no cigar. Panda looking for this next Breath of Fire. Can't get the kills, but at least scares the priest away. They won't be supportive in this fight anymore. Thorzane's expansion up, Johnny Cage's expansion up. Mountain King with one more kill, he gets level 3 in the next Stormbolt as well. Good drain there by Thorzane, there was almost enough mana for a Stormbolt, but here comes the feedback damage from the Breakers, which burns the mana, of course. So the MK still can't use a Stormbolt. And now suddenly, Thorzane with a much larger force here. Yeah. Some reinforcements, to... of course, still on the way for Johnny Cage. And that's the kill, finally, at level 3. Priest sniping starts, a little out of position, guaranteed kill right there. Still pretty equal after this engagement. Yeah. 
Behind this aggression, the tier 3 has started for Johnny Cage, looking to kill some more peasants, perhaps ready to TP out of this. Of course, he doesn't have to worry about a Stormbolt. This is all much easier to this weaving in and out for the Russian player. May lose some water elementals here, but MK just walks away. So do the, bra so do the breakers, so do the priests. And this was a successful little distraction attack to buy time for the tech coming up. Exactly. It's basically the other way around than it was on Amazonia, where Thorzane was going for the distraction attack on early tier 2. Surround! Thorzane oh, double out surround. of nowhere! And it's a TP. I would like to see him go for the breaker first, yeah. so he gets one kill, but okay. Forges the TP out. But the MK is still annoying down here. And this is where you think to yourself, Oh, God damn it! why did I go for Panda? Why yeah. don't I have the Storm Bolt? More kills? And, what? Well, it depends on how many kills you can get now. Panda's coming in for the block. The Mountain King could be surrounded again. Oh. Tough to do. Slips through. That was extremely close. It's not over yet. So greedy. MK has a small hitbox though, it's not so easy to get the surround on him. Unlike the panda. So once again he squeezes out, just barely. The expo stands, but no tier 3, if I saw that correctly. Knights are coming, paladin as well, master upgrade for the priests. No workshop though. Thorzane stays on tier 2. The biggest weapon against his casters is not coming. That would be mortar teams, but knights of course wreck. These breakers. And Thorzen has no alternative to go into anything else. Thank you very much, Mantikuren, for the 24 month resub. We have the Archmage here, already kind of hurt, but again, no Stormbolt here. Not too dangerous, really. Oh, the Shredder would be a nice pickup, and Thorzen is aiming for it. Might be able to get it, but I guess Johnny Cage has enough lumber, anyways, and it turns out the Shredder survives. High number of breakers now here for Johnny Cage already. We have. 1-0 attack upgrade advantage for Johnny Cage, and of course that aura, that command aura that he found earlier. Yeah, the Swede oh. is struggling. Gets level 4 now, focuses the Shredder again, and then maybe TP out. He did some damage to the economy. Here's the TP, but with how many losses? One... Breaker. Got the Shredder in the end. But a Knight is coming now into the peasant line. This is gonna cost... To upgrade for Thorzai now. Yeah, the rest of the army is following here. Mountain King, Paladin, AM, and all the breakers in the back. And more and more knights coming. Second attack upgrade. They're going to be backed up by that command aura. Of course, these knights are going to pack one hell of a punch here. And he's slaughtering one peasant after another. Thorsten's going for the counter attack. I think that's smart. All right, a little exodus, but not without losing more peasants. But against knights, can you really go for a base race? Well, you have a panda. Yeah. With the Breath of Fire, that's a nice bit of additional damage. And it's pretty close here. Looks like both players will be losing the expansion. Yeah, Which would absolutely. then, of course, be still beneficial for Johnny Cage, as he has tier 3. And the better late game hero. Third attack upgrade coming in for the knights. Dude. Damn! Ouch! He, he kind of ouch, needed that ouch. double up. <laughs> Thought they only now taking. Thank you, here's Bumbo. Thirty-two month reserve. WC th uh, three Sunday. Always a pleasure. Keep it up. Thank you, my man. TP coming in for Thorzane. Where is he gonna go? In the middle of everything, gets the surround on the paladin. Oh man, that's a great target to find right away. Stormbolt. Was it even used? I'm not sure. Paladin dead immediately, dude. Brilliant TP here by Thorzen, but now the AM. If he loses his Archmage for this, this will not have been worth it, but the AM survives. Thorzen gets another kill on a Knight. Excellent, yeah. excellent TP. A bit of luck, perhaps, as well. But that was great for Thorzen. And guess what? He's going Tier 3 himself. The greed of going upgrades, but not opting for a Staff. Staff could have saved so much here. Especially the Paladin. It's only level 1. It's not the biggest deal. But it's buying time. Time for creeping, time for for level 5, maybe even double level 5. And of course the tier 3 to finish, as Thorzane needs a solution against these knights in the long run. The nice thing about killing off the Paladin there was at least that he's not going to be participating in all the creeps. 
And Paladin levels scale amazingly in the late. Level 2 already is really good. Level 3 is outstanding to have that upgraded Holy Light. And here we have the three Zero Knights now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Basically four Zero Knights with that command Plus aura. Plus four, my god. Is the Drake still here? Yes, it is. If he gets a Scourge Bone Chimes over here, that would be insane. <laughs> I would love to see the panda. Is he level four already? Yes. Ah, damn. He's not going drunken brawler, uh, drunken haze, on level four. That would have been cool. Throws in, by the way, with a zeppelin, the base. There's one arcane tower. That's it. And we're gonna drop, forcing another TP and a reaction off of Johnny Cage. This is just the s smart play, the high IQ plays by Throws in. Johnny Cage is gonna. Let his economy suffer here for a little bit. He wants to take out this Drake first. Didn't pull him away from the fountain, though, so this is taking forever. Ouch. This is really expensive. And buying so much time for the Swede. No more TP home coming now. But Thorzane just walks it off. Yeah, and there's the Zeppelin. There's not much anti-air. Fly away. Another water mental here. Taking care that there's no mining. Thorzane arrived at tier 3. Going Sorks. Going heavy on Layer casters. Going attack. upgrades. But no knights nor mortars yet. Going Sorks. Okay, so we're going to have the slow ping pong starting here soon. So the question then is, who's got more breakers? Must be Thorzane, right? Not really. He's got 5 versus 4, 5. It's 5 versus 5 at the moment. <laughs> I think he has to go higher on the breakers. A little counterintuitive, of course. MK getting really high level here, though. Close to five. Paladin getting closer to three. We'd love to go for some more creep camps, but once again, we'll have to come back to defend Thorzane being really obnoxious in the main. So this is looking like the game against Foggy yesterday, where <laughs> there's just no mining in the main base. And he's blocked in. Archmage can do a little... We've also, also seen from the Chinese humans uh, blizzard transitions. Would force more breakers than I guess. Ooh, does he have the time and balls to save to, his units? TP. Okay. Losing quite a bit damage. though. Oh, the breaker damage. My goodness. Oh, losing two breakers in fact. All right, that was a little expensive. Goes to level five now as well. But throws in breaking upkeep. And I guess Johnny Cage can't afford that. He's still reviving peasants. He's still not fully mining. Interesting to see no mortar teams, right? Yeah, I really wonder why. Usually when we see tier 3, we always see them super strong with their frag shards against the caster backline. And man, Johnny Cage is getting so many creeps. Gonna get the next red drake. This is almost gonna be... Dude, if this is triple level up... But, okay, there's not enough creeps here anymore. Some of them were taken out earlier. But it's gonna be really close to triple level up. Yeah. To 553. Which is insanely strong levels. So be mask. Ow, <laughs> this Mountain King. Oh MC Hammer, so be mask, Pendant, and of Clear. course Aura. You, everyone wants level 5 so bad. Nope. Oh, Stormbolt Archmage is a little bit defensive. Nice clap coming in. Of course, uh, very good against the backline, especially against the priests. <sighs> that was a watermelon kill. Double level up. MK almost level 5 himself. It looks like Johnny Cage now is running away with this game. Water Elementals continues to be providing free experience. Clap again. And Paladin in deep, deep trouble for Thorzane. He can't heal him anymore. He can't save him. GG. Damn. Well played. 1-1. One, one. Seriously, well played by Johnny Cage, despite uh, the pressure he had to face in the base. The faster tier 3 tech, the faster knights, um, the faster expansion kill, I guess. Got him in a very good position, crept so much more. Yeah, already in the very early stages, he had more footies, he kept them alive better, he was able to chase down better with the boots, and with more footies in the mid game, was in a great position. And the MK once again, looking to be a little bit stronger than the panda, the later the game goes. Yeah, absolutely. Um... With all these items, of course, as well, which he earned himself. That Mountain King was just an absolute beast. So, Northern Isles to decide here. 
our last map number three. We're gonna say goodbye to the loser. He's gonna be out. The winner will make it one round further into the lower bracket, round three. Where we will face either Foggy or Hawk. Could be a rematch of Johnny Cage versus Foggy. Revenge from the Ukrainian. Or the second last remaining non CIA, uh, uh, non Russian survives here in Thorzane. Okay, here we go. Whew, Northern Isles will decide this. So what are we going to be seeing here? Certainly, an Archmage opening anything else would be completely wild. But what along with it? Is it going to be a fast expansion for once, perhaps? We haven't seen this at all yet. Yeah. Is it going to be Tier 3 focus on Breakers? Are we going to go... Uh, tier 2, I mean, focus on Breakers. Or are we going to go Tier 3? I guess both players have shown already that they're rather fond of Tier 3. Not just the endless Breaker Wars that we see oftentimes over in China. Yeah, I think... Thorzine especially seemed to doesn't like this. Johnny Cage, I'm not sure. Maybe it was his plan on game one as well. Absolutely his plan on the bigger map, CH. Northern is once again a rather small map base to base, but you can kind of dodge your opponent and with expansion force him to attack you. There is of course laboratories as well, so Zeppelin drops are possible once more. Level 3 creep route, I think, here is also pretty easy if you don't go for the expansion, right? It's like Tuscars into green, green, green. And I think that's level 3. That's oftentimes what we, we'll see prioritized in the human mirror, going for mercs as well. But here, there is no mercenary camp on Northern Isles, so that's not going to be the case. And perhaps for that reason, rushing level 3 AM even more valuable, as there's going to be no dispel against those water elementals. Yeah. But the altar pointing towards the natural seems like they're not going to be going for the Tuskars right away. Yeah, that would be like... Tuskar into big mana potion would be a dream. But, of course, every human is always a little greedy and wants this expansion to run for him. Like, going expo can be especially... Dangerous and scary in the human mirror when your opponent has all that merc camp support just keeps on spamming reinforcements, you know, can has the spell, has the berserkers. But that's not gonna be the case. So if you go expand, you only in quotes are gonna have to hold off against footies. So we are starting off with the natural creep here for both. This doesn't have to be an expo. Oh, and Johnny Cage messes it up, gets his footies slowed. Ooh. Oh. This means he's also bouldering, right? Depends on where the uh, rock column starts attacking, I think. It so it seems like it's not going to be tossing boulders. Okay. At the end of the day, only going to be a hurt footy. But also a bit of a slower creep here, I think. Yeah, Frozen already with four kills. And Talisman of Evasion for him. Johnny Cage had amazing items on CH and continues on NI. Claws of attack in the early game for an Archmage dream situation. So Thorzane brings back his peasants to the main and Johnny Cage leaves him there. Okay, we're going to have a difference of styles here with a fast expo coming out up for Johnny Cage. And now having these footies hurt could turn out to be a bit of a problem. If it comes to the footy battles, Thorzane looking to be in a better position, going for the main base right now. For There's once. one footy at the expansion, the rest of Thorzane's army into the main. This is really tough to do with right now for Johnny yeah. Cage. And for once in this series, there's no Arcane Tower, nor Scout Tower in the base of uh, Johnny Cage. This is looking good. He should be able to get a second water elemental in a bit. It's already lumber harvesting time that he's not getting. Footman 1 got killed here. Second Footman by Thorzane coming in to deal with these peasants. Johnny Cage is overwhelmed. Not marking nice enough. Ouch. Or oh, more ouch. kills. And the, the footage at the expo. How much kills can he get with two, four Footmen? Yeah, really good splitting by Thorzane. Finding the perfect points of attack and points of weakness for the opponent, that is. He might even be able to cancel the town hall. There's one peasant yeah. still left here. He has Thorzane going to realize. He absolutely He's got another is. water elemental. No worker yeah. anymore, only damage three footmen. Oh. oh my god. 
Was stupid, GG, good luck, next destruction! Whew, yeah, it felt like uh, he left his computer for a while. Actually, he l lost peasants everywhere and Thorzane killed some in 4 minutes 15. Yeah, imperfect creep there to begin with and then exposing his expansion and main by running across the map. Not the, the perfect way to play this. Uh, yeah, four minutes. Oh boy. Thursday makes it th Johnny Cage out, but with a decent showing. Johnny yes. Cage, that's a, gonna be a name to remember for us in the future. True. The win against Foggy will put him on the map. He's still very, very young, 20 years old. I hope the future is bright for him. And Thorzane will go into the lower bracket semi-final. That is the top four already. And his opponent is either Hawk or Foggy. We go into a little break and then... We'll be right back with the WGL European Qualifiers. Two slots to Shanghai.